<laughs> okay, so let's talk about our assets one last time. Stop laughing, stop laughing. Jamie's team had 600 some odd dollars. Jeff's team, or excuse me, assets, assets. Jeff some, had assets, mind you, assets. Not money, but assets, minus $36,000. Jeff, minus $5,600. Thomas, $2,300. Ralph, $4,500. Walker, $2,300. Shandy, $3,280. Michael, am I, am I on the right line? Michael, Michael $3,300. Lee, 4700 and Josiah's team minus 9,000. Here's what you guys actually, actually. Okay. So, what you guys would have liked to have seen, what you guys would have liked to have seen, what you can see, because fishermen don't see this, you'd like to see reality, right? Yeah. Okay, this is what reality was. This is what reality was. So let's have a look up here. So here we have time on this axis from zero, the start of our game till this current round. This dark blue is the deep sea fish abundance. This light blue is the coastal fish population, right? Um, here's the market value of ships, how, the worth you guys were bidding on, paying for, etc. It was going up, 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 up till about six. It's about year six. Let's pay attention to this, okay? To year six. After year six, then it started to tank right here is and this is in coastal and this is in deep sea so this is the the net recruitment so the number of new fish that we're adding every year to the population right so initially let's, let's take a look at the deep sea initially it's kind of cranking right the deep sea is kind of cranking oh, sorry sorry this is harvest this harvest is net recruitment so initially you guys are taking stuff out you're like wow we're making a lot of money a lot of fish out here right you're getting a lot of fish a lot of fish, a lot of fish, a lot of fish. So you're harvesting a lot. The recruitment is staying the same this whole time. You're making more and more and more and more money, right? So you're thinking, all good, all good, all good. The bank is happy, you're paying off your loans, kids paying for school, all that stuff, right? And so we're over harvesting is what's going on, right? We're taking too many of the population to allow that population to self replenish. Yeah, with me? And so by the time you recognize it, by the time you recognize it, the, the population is already headed downward, right? So notice this first starts with the deep sea because that's where you guys mostly were putting your fishing pressure because that's where you got the most bang for your buck. You guys figured that out pretty quickly. And the, but, then this, but notice the same thing happens with the coast. It happens a few years later, right? Because it's sort of like the secondary source or the, the alternate uh, fish species that we switch to. You can think of it that way, right? All of a sudden, a bunch of people figured out that, that the coast was tanking, so everybody ran to the coast in year seven. So we had a massive amount, and then they just tanked, right? So if we look at our fleet sizes, right? The fleet sizes were going up and up and up and up and up and up and up, right? Right? So what's so 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 what's going on here? Well, why did this happen? Because it was good money. We were making money. Okay, right. Right. Okay, so th we're going to talk about these. So those are important things. So the first thing is we were making money, so it seemed good, right? Economic signals can be total baloney, right? The economists will tell you, no, 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 they're right, but that if you want to have food to eat. Maybe that's not the only signal we should pay attention to, right? That's number one. Uh, and the, our economist friends would just say that, that's a, that's a, that's a, that signal was incorrect. That signal was corrupted by not complete information is what they would say, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, uh, okay, so the next part was, right, that was an important comment. We were fishing, and then stuff started tanking, but no one would buy our vessels. So we just kept going, right? Hoping, hoping we're going to get a good year hoping that stuff will turn around and then someone will buy our ships and we can get out, right? So th th those are totally real things that happen every day. What else? What, what else was going on with your guys' thinking? Well, we were catching fish, so we weren't buying any new ships either. 
Yeah, so, so eventually, so 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 the problem. So when did you guys? What when do you guys remember seeing a problem? What year? Six. Okay. So let's look at uh, catch per ship. Wait, did I show you this one? So catch per ship. So here's harbor. Obviously, you don't catch anything in the harbor, so that's you know whatever. Uh, the coast and deep sea, right? So uh, here's our our our. Or sorry, sorry, this is ship allocation. Sorry, this is where you guys were putting them. Here's, here's catch per, per uh, fish per year. Okay, so here we go. Here's the coast. The coast is relatively stable. So we're catching the same amount. And then it goes down. The deep sea, you guys, you started declining slightly year three. Nobody seems to have seen that, right? And then you really precipitously declined on year five, or, or, or began the, the change after year five. So you guys saw it here. So you recognized you fell off the cliff when you're about to smack the bottom of the ground, right? Hit the ground. So there's inertia in these systems. There is, there's momentum in this system, right? Ah! What if everybody just took 10 fish or whatever it was, right? That's a total possible thing. Did anybody do that? Well, we kind of did. We ended up like very level the whole time and it ended up just being like fucking at the end. Well, oh, 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 because, because you, didn't ships, you didn't have a lot of ships, what you're saying. Yeah. So you guys didn't do a lot of fishing pressure overall. Yeah. Right. So, but uh, did the fishery survive? Yeah. No, no. no. So you guys might have been trying that, but, but the fish stock is a communal resource. You don't own the fish stock, right? We're all fishing the same, in the same deep waters or the same coastal waters, right? So, so you were doing that. Everybody else is like, I'm going to get some fish, right? So, so that, that, we'll talk about that too. That's another real phenomenon. Anything else? Any other observations you guys had? All right, I need one representative from each team. We're going to have one more comp we're going to have one more one more exciting game. But we're going to do it real quickly up front. So I need one volunteer with it's a thumb thumb competition. So if you have a broken thumb or something, you probably should pick somebody else from your team. So everybody has to set, set up one send up one team. One one person. We're going to have a thumb war. Thumb war. Yes. So I need one person from each team to come up here. Okay, so okay, so we'll have to do a couple rounds. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do um, we're gonna do uh, thirty second rounds, and the goal here, the only goal, is to get the most number of of pins. You guys know how to do right? You guys know how to do thumb work? Right? We put yeah. our, my kids my hand but right, we put our hands together and and a real pin, not like a touch for a second, but actually hold it down. Okay, <laughs> and you guys will be the judges, so make sure nobody cheats. Okay, so TJ, so you so you guys are gonna start. You two, you two. You two, you two. Okay, ready? Right. Three. Oh! Okay, our two threes! Wait, wait, no, no, no. No, you guys go. You guys go. You have three, right? Yeah. Okay, three, our two threes. Alright. Okay, here we go. Woo! It's getting very tense. Okay, 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, let's have a thumb. Whoa! And you should be a wrestler. Yeah. That's what you mean. Come on, Raul, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's like. You get the angle on your head. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are supposed to break apart. Okay, two seconds and stop. So Ralph, stand up. Stay right here. You can take turns. Ready? Go. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, one. <laughs> two. Three. Uh, four. Teamwork. Five. Six. And it goes on, right? Oh. What was the rule? That was it, right? What was the rule with the fish thing, right? Make money, right? We oftentimes, especially in the male-dominated world, we often default to competition. And competition is a useful thing. Competition is a cool thing. There's nothing wrong with competition. But sometimes we think that's the only way we manage resources, right? There's no reason to say you guys couldn't have all stood up here and everybody do that, right? You all would have gotten a gazillion million pins, right?
right? So these guys were saying, oh, maybe we should, we should take only a certain amount of fish, right? But not everybody did that. So, so there are other ways to manage our resources. But the history that we've been given is macho, I'm a man, I'm going to go take this stuff out, I'm going to be the biggest, I'm going to be the bestest, I'm the biggest deal maker, right? All that, <laughs> all that stuff. And there are, of course, times when that is a useful strategy and, and helpful, right? That's really helpful when we're alone in the forest and there's a bear coming after us, right? I'm going to kick this bear's butt, right? That's probably, if he's coming after you, that's probably a, a shot at least, right? <laughs> but in a world with, with billions and billions and billions of people and coastal resources and other resources stressed, maybe... You know, that's not always the best procedure, right? Now, this is so ingrained in our culture, it's very hard to have this conversation with some folks, right? Some folks hear a conversation like that and they call you a wimp, they call you anti American, they call you a coward, they, all these kinds of terms, right? So, we have to be better than that, right? We have to understand that. And again, there's, there's absolutely a place for competition and efficiency and all that good stuff. But you should always question everything. What are the assumptions, right? All he said was get the most number of pins. And it's very hard, it's hard for me, it's hard for you, it's hard for all of us. But that's really the challenge with a lot of our coastal resources, especially our renewable resources, especially our biological resources. How do we do this in a way that doesn't smosh stuff into the ground? Because as, as you guys saw, that was, those were very simple rules. We didn't have all, all kinds of fancy other things. We didn't even have pirates. I know you guys wanted pirates. We didn't have any pirates, right? And there's all kinds of other complicating factors, hurricanes and this and that. But just with those simple rules, we drove the, the renewable resource to extinction, right? And this is not a, a fish phenomenon. This is a human phenomenon. We see this with logging. We see this with... Um, uh, uh, bird resources, we see this with fish resources, we see this with, with uh, you know, things over and over and over again. So, that, so we have to understand that, that we do this. It's not those guys screwed up the resource. Our tendency is oftentimes to screw up the resource, right? So we should be very humble when we read these papers and we talk about this over harvesting stuff. You guys killed the resource. And, and it, it's very easy to do that. The system is set up, right, to drive the stuff to, to rarity, to, to being uncommon, low abundance. And that's maybe not the best resource management strategy. Cool. Okay. So we're going to take a 10-minute break and come back. I'm going to go get a video, and I'll be right back.